today we'll be going over all of the options available. I've placed it over here if you guys want to check it out. So all of these options are currently available to export NetSuite data and I'm going to go over a few of them on a high level and provide you links under the video description if you wanted to explore and research. And if I missed anything, please feel free to comment under this video so it could help others like me for myself before I did all of this extensive research to come up with these solutions. Okay, let's get started. So the first way is to use a safe search. So I would say is uh, the simplest way is to create uh, a basic safe search or use an ex existing search. Like let's say if you're taking this search, the easiest way to export is to use the export Excel here, right? If you wanted to automate this, you can always schedule um, in a safe search through an email. So you could do this here. I would say just schedule this here and then you can save this. So you can also customize a message from whom you're getting. So it shows up like from your, if you're getting it from like say um, reporting in NetSuite. So you can put that here like reporting and it needs to be in a particular format and uh, I'm assuming. So I think you would need to put it like reporting and then put the email like for example reporting NetSuite this is how this needs to be so if you see this is the format there you go NetSuite is going to correct me so I need to put it in quotes and then close the parenthesis there so there we go I'm just gonna close it out perfect so this is how you would do it you can put and send in as CSV or Excel based on however feel is more relevant in your case then you can set up go to schedule you can, you can select daily versus weekly monthly or single even if you just want to send it once be done with it and you can put a start and end date end by so if you want this to run forever this i would uh, definitely suggest putting it for the, like the next month or two and see what if it's not uh, if it's actually being used i would say you can always check that through the audit trail and then um, execution log too if if how based on the usage of your client basically so this is one quick option so i would say the next other approach i would say is using the web query i've also explained this in detail in another solution uh in my channel but for uh, a quick brief overview i would say if you were to go into one of um a custom reports i would say this doesn't usually work with the standard reports like balance sheet income statement but if you were to like have um, a transaction search or sorry a transaction report or a detail like an invoice uh, invoice is sales revenue any of those reports that would be totally possible through this let's say let's see if you go over to detail here if you were to customize this that option is usually going to show up at the bottom under more options let's see see this allow web query this is the option that you would need to use. This, uh, if you were to, I'll put the link in the description so you can use the Allow Web Query option. So I'll quickly show it to you guys. So if I were to preview this, um, this option down at the bottom below, you see here, Export Excel Web Query. This is where you would be able to export it and then connect um, your Excel to, through a web query and have it automatically refreshed in your Excel or Power BI as a matter of fact. So do give it a shot and check out the other video for the same. Okay, this is the second option and the usage of like REST or SOAP services for an API. This is a free approach, uh, REST API or SOAP, there are records uh, available inside NetSuite. So you would definitely need more technical expertise here. I would say uh, if you have used a tool like Postman before I can put it in chat here, but it's called Postman to like check. This would need uh, a token authentication. So you would need token authentication and integration record created basically. So this would be ideal if you wanted to pull in like a set of standard records from NetSuite. So this is where you would use SOAP or REST API. Um, do check it out here. Uh, if I definitely go in here, I'll just show it to you guys. There you go, the REST API browser. So you, it, it would give you all of the records in like 
uh, the REST API browsers. There are some of them in beta, so they could be changing in the field names uh, um, without prior notice. So be very careful with using this for your production reporting. So I would suggest using a more standard reporting. I would say use SweetQL with REST API uh, rather than SOAP or REST. Sometimes um, these work, but if they're not beta, they're 100% uh, doable, but you need to be more technical. Um, and fe feel free to correct me if I'm wrong here because I do not have much experience with SOAP, but definitely worked with REST APIs before. So using SweetQL is similar with REST API. Here you would use a GET call. Here you would use uh, a POST call to pull in the data. And I've uh, used um, a sweet, qu uh, sweet QL query tool developed by Tim. Um, so I've, I have this uh, as another video as well in my channel. So I'll put a link to this as well. So you can check out. So if I were to run like select star from like, say account, I can quickly run this query inside NetSuite itself and check um, the data that I want to pull out of NetSuite. And I can use Postman or like say another cloud solution. For example, I want to pull it into Azure Data Factory, right? I can use, run this query there um, inside my REST API call. So I think the format is possibly gonna look like something like this. You would just pass it as a, an object, like a, a parameter call basically. And then you would put in your, your, your query here. And then put a semicolon at the end. This is how you would uh, basically pass it through. Um, again, this is just uh, from a video perspective. I'm just going to give you a high level overview of this. Um, so yeah, and these are all the free options currently. And you have other options where you could use the data warehouse integrator, which is paid. This is another um, paid solution that you can definitely look up in the um, the NetSuite help browser. Um, the, it's under the Suite Analytics. So I can show you. Actually, let me just go into Data Warehouse. Oops. Actually, showing it. Yeah, there you go. So, setting up Suite Analytics Warehouse. So, how do you set it up? Like, uh, this is definitely possible through here. So all of that following here is currently supported. So you can basically export your data from NetSuite to the Suite Analytics Warehouse where it's a paid solution where you can purchase um, the analytical warehouse for your own reporting through a third-party BI tool like Power BI, Tableau, Click, um, so on and so forth. So this is another approach. And last but not the least, you have the Suite Analytics Connect. This is a paid option where you could use ODBC, JDBC, or and you could use um, .NET connectors. The .NET possibility is, uh, is applicable here, so do feel free. To, this is, I think, paid and it varies between, based on your NetSuite license from, from like $500 a month to 1000 a month based on your tier. Um, so yeah, feel free to look into these options too. So these are paid, but it makes it easier for you to connect to the suite and suite analytics um, tables. And also I would suggest using the netsuite2.com tables because all of the netsuite.com tables are, are like the data model is going to be retired eventually. So definitely use the netsuite2.com from a future perspective, future proofing standpoint so that you guys don't have to do a lot of um, query updates, changing fields, joins, and all of that. Hope this was helpful. Feel free to reach out to me under the comments if you have any questions or if you need more help 